All right. I feel yeah, good. I feel happy just to be in the house. I feel good. But before I talk a little bit longer, I want to give you a poem. I start all of my speakings, most of them out, with poems. And this one touched me because it says, Arise, woman of God. Rise up. O oh, woman of God. In what he has given you, the things God has laid on your heart, rise up. Go forth and do. Unlock what God has placed within you. For this is your finest hour. Arise in the Lord's holy might, ignited and empowered. For God is calling you to come forth to impact this world for him. Don't hold back or limit yourself. Let his power arise within and take his message to the world, to those that have lost their way. For you can surely make a difference if you hear his voice and obey. You shall be strengthened in the Lord as you begin to rise, conquering those doubts that pull you down. And believe who you are in Christ, for you shall surely be transformed as in you God increases more and become a woman of true excellence, bringing honor to her Lord. The subject and the reason that we're here today is women embracing, coming together, embracing each other to build God's kingdom. And you know, when Dr. Solomon gave me the title, I was like, okay, every time I turn around, we talk about coming together and bringing somebody together, but it seems that there seems to be more confusion going on today than coming together. And I, and I said, Lord, well, give me a word for the women, not just myself, but give me a word for all of us. And the word is Song of Solomon's chapter four and verse one. And it says, behold, you are beautiful. My love, behold, you are beautiful. Your eyes are doves behind your veil. Your hair is like a flock of goats sleeping down the slopes of Gilad. And if I had to take three key words out of there, I don't care who you are, where you're sitting, what you have on today, or how you're looking, you're beautiful. And if we begin to get beyond how we look in the natural, but we begin to look at how we look in the spirit, we won't be judging our physical appearances, but we'll be judging to the spirit. That's and when right. somebody's spirit is down, we'll push that person right. up yeah. so yeah. that instead of pushing them down, but as you go up, you'll begin to bring that sister up with you because we can't come together and bond together if we don't know how to link together like chains. Yeah. If you ever seen a chain, once it's linked together, there's no breaking. Uh -huh. So as this part of the chain is going up, if we're catching hold of somebody's hand and bringing them up with us, that chain will never stop. Yeah. Uh -huh. But more importantly than there is love, charity. Yeah. Yeah. And the problem is in we don't tend to love each other the way we love ourselves. Well, we love ourselves. I mean, we can pat our hands on the back because, you know, we all love ourselves. But when it comes down to loving other people, we have schisms and isms on how we love them. I, I love you if your makeup look right. I, I definitely love you if your finances look right towards me. I, I love you if your car look like mine. I love you if you live the same way I live. But Lord, let me walk up there. You know how you do it. And I stepped down for a minute. You know, I'm right down here with everybody now, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> and I looked over there, and I saw a wrinkle on that table, a stain on that skirt. That hair went pressed down right, so I started judging. So I forgot how to love you. I forgot how to be there with you. I forgot how to encourage you. I forgot how to bring you up with me because I began to look at your flaws instead of encouraging you. Because oftentimes, if we would stop looking naturally at people, mm. especially our sisters, yeah. we got enough going on and enough opposition in the world that we as sisters don't need to beat sisters, sisters yeah. to sisters. Yeah. We need to begin to lift up and encourage yeah. one another, uh -huh. sister to sister. Yeah. Yeah. If I see you hurting, let me ask you why. And, and oftentimes, if you really know somebody hurting, you're really in the spirit, you don't need their name, you don't need to know their problem, right. but you can just go into the spirit and begin to pray for the person. Right. It's when you're so busy trying to know what's going on in their life in the natural that you can't step into the life with them in the spirit. So if I came to encourage all of my sisters today, my one thing I would say to all of you is love each other. Because when you love one another, love covers a multitude of things. When you love one another, you don't see everything you would see in the natural. When you love one another, you'll begin to encourage me. You'll begin to push me. You'll begin to see me in spite of my obstacles and my problems. 
I'm, I'm going to be with you in five more good preaching minutes. I promise I'm going to be done. Right. You, it's when you begin to see me not for who I am, but see me for where God is taking me or right. see me for where I'm going. Preach it's when mind. you can push me up and take me to my next level and yes. your dynamics that right are now. moving around in your molecular system can begin to All touch right. the dynamics that are in mine Go and down. we can Go begin down. to connect together I and make a positive energy. Yes. But as long as your negative ions over here are pushing away my positive energy, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll never grow. Right. Come on now. So, in my words of love, and as I leave, I just want to say, be encouraged. Yes. It's the encouragement that you give someone when they don't even know, when you don't know their problem and you know they're hurting, and you encourage them, and they can look back and say, oh my God, that word was so on time. Yes. I was yes. so yes. just, didn't want to be him, just didn't know what to do, yes. but yes. so-and-so, sister, and you know what I'm saying, getting no title, I said sister, All right. because if you can be a sister, then you can arrive in them titles, right. but if you title struck, then you can't go nowhere. Right. So when sister looked at me and said, I love you, I'm going to just look at all of you today and say, I love you. God bless you. That's all right. That's all right.